Born on May 6, 1758, in Arras, France, Maximilien Francois Marie Isidore de Robespierre was the son of a lawyer. Orphaned at an early age, his life was marked by hardship and struggle, but these obstacles didn't deter him. Instead, they shaped a man of resilience and determination. Robespierre followed in his father's footsteps, studying law at the University of Paris. He quickly gained a reputation for his eloquence and his commitment to the underprivileged. His legal career took an unexpected turn in 1789 when he was elected as a deputy to the Estates General. As a member of the Estates General, Robespierre's influence grew. He was a staunch advocate for the common people, arguing for their right to have a voice in government. His vision was one of a unified and indivisible France, where equality under the law was not just an ideal, but a reality. When the French Revolution erupted in 1789, Robespierre found himself at the heart of the turmoil. His speeches, filled with fiery rhetoric, rallied the people and stoked the flames of revolution. He became synonymous with the radical phase of the revolution, pushing for the execution of Louis XVI and playing a key role in the establishment of the First French Republic. Yet the same fervor that propelled Robespierre to the pinnacle of power was also his downfall. His insistence on political purity and his relentless pursuit of perceived enemies led to the reign of terror. Tens of thousands were executed under his watch, their deaths a chilling testament to the dangerous extremes of his revolutionary zeal. In the end, Robespierre himself fell victim to the very terror he had helped to create. On July 28, 1794, he was executed by guillotine, his death marking the end of the reign of terror. Robespierre's legacy is a complex one. He was a catalyst for change, a key figure in the birth of modern France. Yet his reign is also a stark reminder of the potential dangers of unchecked power and the perils of revolution. In the grand tapestry of history, Robespierre remains a controversial figure. His influence, however, is undeniable. His vision and actions during the French Revolution continue to shape our understanding of democracy, revolution, and the struggle for equality. Thus we are left to ponder, was Robespierre a hero or a villain? The answer, it seems, lies in the eye of the beholder.